Thank you so much for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. Allow me to do this. Thank you so much. This morning's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff on there. I do have some very good news on that video if you did not see it. I will link it to the end of this video. Please check it out. Okay, the southern border. Y'all remember a few months back we seen the border patrol and it looked like they was whipping the illegal criminals coming over. Well, they was swooping their reins around to control the horses. Anybody with a half a brain could have seen that. But the Joe Biden administration and the news, everybody tried to make a big thing about it that they was whipping these people. Well, a lot of those border patrols lost their jobs over that because of Joe Biden. Well, now it's come out. They've proved that they was not being whipped. They was controlling their horses. I mean, these men and women down there, they, they're on these horsebacks every day. They know how to handle those horses. And if they wasn't twirling those reins, getting the horses to go where they want them to go, they would have trampled those people, and that would have been far worse than being whipped. Where in the hell is Kamala Harris, the supposedly vice president? So the supposedly border czar. She has never been to the border. She went down close to the border for a photo op and a chance to embarrass our country. But to see the problem right there at the border at the Rio Grande, she has never been there and she is the border czar. Things are out of control at the border and the border czar don't give a damn. It's time for her to re be replaced. And Mallorca, he is no better. It's time for him to be fired. America is the laughingstock of the world. Our president and vice president is the butt of the world's joke. Australian and Saudi Arabia news both has made funny skits about our government. Like I said before, everybody in the world sees what we say and do. And they are laughing their asses off at the Americans. So it made me think about our Vice President Kamala Harris. If we can't see her, if we don't know where she's at, if she's not causing any problems here, well, just maybe, just maybe, the world can't see her either and she can't embarrass the United States any further. Maybe it's a good thing Harris is missing in action. Thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. I really do appreciate you so much for it. Thank you so much. The Biden administration is tone deaf when it comes to our southern border. They prove it every day, time and time again. They prove that they do not care one iota about our southern border. But they send billions and billions of our tax money. This is our money. This is not our government's money. This is our money that they send to other countries to protect their borders. And they just act like our border problem is not a problem. In fact, they cause this problem. This is what they want. It's like we are talking to a stone wall when it comes to our southern border. They do not hear, they don't want to hear, and they don't want to see. Out of sight, out of mind. Remember this. This is very important. A country without borders 
is not a country. It becomes a dumping ground for other countries' worse citizens, and that's what America is becoming. Y'all, I am not against other people coming to this country. If other people can't come to this country, I would have never met my wife. But I want them to come legally. I want them to come the right way or don't come at all. We have laws. And if they come into this country and the first thing they do is break our law, do we need them here? And y'all, let's keep Kamala Harris hiding. It's for the betterment of our country if nobody sees or hears her. Y'all, the midterms is coming up. We got to clean house. We got to get these people out of office. I mean, they've proved time and time again they don't care about the American people. So we got to show them how much we just don't care about them also. Please comment below what you think about all of this garbage that we're going through right now. But I do see brighter days coming. And if you did not see today, this morning's video, please go back and watch it. There is some very good news in that video. And I don't want you to miss it. Brighter days are on the way. Y'all, I love you all. Please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this garbage. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people up in the island of misfit toys in washington dc they don't care about us a bit but we have to still pray for them that they will do the right things say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through covid financial hardship or any other affliction just know i love you all until tomorrow ciao